I have to say that um, I have always enjoyed a very good relationship with Unite. Um, we have met many, many times since I've been the Minister for Health. In fact, we average it out of almost twice a week, not to mention the fluid phone calls and all the communications that we have. So it, it was quite a surprise uh, to have been shown the circular um, of UNITE to say that morale was an, at an all-time low because of all of our meetings where they set the agenda and where we discuss the issues that they raise. And I'm very pleased to say that to date, every single issue that has been brought to my table, every single claim has been resolved to the full satisfaction of UNITE. And that is a matter of record. Can you confirm that vacancies are being filled by government and GHA employees? I can 100% guarantee to the community of Gibraltar that there has been since uh, I've been the Minister for Health and obviously uh, John Cortes as well, given that there have been 225 people employed in the GHA that we move as quickly as we can in advertising and filling those vacancies. The GHA has almost 1,100 people could several issues perhaps fall off the radar? Of course they may. We are entirely human. But the point is that when issues are brought to my attention, when they hit my inbox, they are resolved and they are always resolved within the time frame that UNITE dictates. Well, it does sound very good on paper. You talk of increased staffing, but then people hear about problems within the GHA, disciplinaries with top management. Well, I think you're referring to one disciplinary um, and management level and in an institution, in an organisation that has a general hospital, a mental hospital, a primary care centre, a community health team, it is unavoidable that there will be issues that arise. But the point is that when issues arise, there are fully resourced departments to be able to deal with them. And if, once again, mistakes are made and they're not properly resolved, and they do hit my desk, then we do ensure that they are properly resolved. Well, Minister, but perhaps what's being created at the hospital is a multi-tier system where you have GHA and government staff and then agency staff doing the same job, perhaps with worse conditions, getting paid less. That creates low morale. The staffing levels uh, for the GHA, uh, for nurses, doctors and so on, are the correct staffing levels. Unfortunately and unavoidably, people may get sick. People, of course, also have annual leave. There's also maternity leave and other leave. During those periods, the government needs to be able to fill in the gaps, but those gaps are temporary, they're not permanent. And therefore, it's important to be able to have skilled, trained agency workers that can plug those gaps. But we're talking about temporary gaps, not permanent. Well, I can't let the interview end without bringing up quite strong accusations from Grand Home Care last Friday that employees were being harassed and threatened with dismissal unless they joined Medoc. I received an email from Grand Home Care. I immediately uh, spoke with the acting director of nursing and after she concluded her investigations, she guaranteed me that there has been no instruction or insinuation by any member of the clinical nursing management that that, uh, that, that instruction uh, should be conveyed. So no one should be told that they should join one agency company or the other. The point is that the GHA uses various uh, agencies to provide labour to the GHA as and when it is required. Well, the government warns of potentially disruptive action. Surely a socialist government can't be opposed to industrial action. Well, of course we're not opposed to industrial action, but remember, Christine, that we're running, of course, a hospital. And to have all staff walk out at the same time will necessarily, as a matter of fact, affect patient care. And our concern is to make sure that patients have the best and the safest care at all times.